Major infrastructure projects are notorious for being delayed and having major cost blowouts. You're probably used to seeing articles in the news talking about this. It's a common occurrence. Take the Sydney Opera House, for example. It was expected to take just four years to build, but ended up taking 14. It was expected to cost just $7 million to build, but ended up costing $102 million. A report by the Grattan Institute in Australia in 2020 found that of the nine transport infrastructure projects over $5 billion, six had suffered cost blowouts. The report also found that construction projects in Australia greater than $20 million, on average, had suffered 21% cost blowouts. On top of this, in Australia in 2020, disturbingly, 23 workers were killed on construction sites and many more injured. Even with all the sophisticated technology, software and experienced personnel managing these projects, we still have major things going wrong. But why does this happen? Why does such a large proportion of construction projects not achieve their time, budget and safety objectives? Well, there's no easy answer to this question. There is insufficient planning and preparation. There's poor communication between parties. The original project's scope changes beyond what was originally foreseen and unforeseen circumstances and situations occur. Lots of things go wrong on construction projects. The best answer I can come up with is probably going to be a bit dissatisfying. Construction projects are hard. Every single construction project is unique and different, resulting in unique situations arising that can't be properly planned for and managed. To highlight this, let's look at a sibling industry, the manufacturing industry. In a lot of ways, there are multiple similarities between the two. In both manufacturing and construction, we're coordinating the effective use of scarce resources to create a finished product. To manufacture a car, we need to order materials, engage skilled labour and machinery to put it together, and make sure it's done efficiently and quickly. On a construction project, we do the same thing. We order materials and engage skilled labour to put it all together. In both situations, we're making something whether it be a car or a bridge. So, why do we have all these problems in the construction industry, but not the manufacturing industry? The key difference is that every construction project is unique. A bridge on one side of town may have completely different and unique challenges to building a bridge on the other side of town. In the first case, maybe we're building the bridge over marshlands and there's a critically endangered frog living there. We need to put in place unique environmental controls to make sure this species of frog isn't harmed during construction. Maybe we underestimate how much these controls will cost and how long they take to put in place. In the second scenario, maybe we need to work adjacent to a busy highway and must put in place costly and messy traffic diversions. Maybe we only get access to small works fronts at a time. And this massively impacts our productivity. On paper, the two projects may appear identical. We may be building a road bridge with the same number of lanes, with the same asphalt surface, and even of the exact same length. However, due to the unique constraints and considerations, the projects are completely different. In each project, we face unique challenges that we may never have faced before. In manufacturing, the same car is built in the same spot, with the same pieces, with the same equipment, and by the same people. The process is repetitive and can be perfected to the nth degree. So to answer the original question, why do construction projects fail, I'm not going to give you a super detailed answer with key bullet points. I'm simply going to say construction projects fail because they're hard. Every project is unique and challenging in its own way and there will always be things that happen that we can't have foreseen. To manage the unique and ever-changing environment of construction projects, we need to plan extensively, deliver the plan, and then manage change. We need effective construction management leaders and professionals who are up to this challenge. We need people equipped with the key construction management skills to be able to deliver these challenging projects.